property take over almost half of the city. To combat this issue, the city has made changes to the short-term rental ordinance, including a cap on the number of licenses allowed. And Autumn Klein joins us live from Folly Beach City Hall this morning to tell us about the changes that they're voting on today that supporters say would also protect renters. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, Nick and Shelby. The city has added a new section for a provisional short term rental license, which would protect tourists and those renting homes from having their vacation stripped from them due to an ownership change. Essentially, if someone were to sell a home that they were previously renting out, the new owner would have to honor any of those previously booked rentals. Now, this would only apply for a 90 day period. The new owner would basically get this temporary license to honor all rentals within 90 days of the purchase to protect those who made travel arrangements previously. This change is to comply with the South Carolina Vacation Rental Management Act. Rather than make this law stricter, the city has decided to just adhere to state laws that are already in place and include this section in their code to protect those utilizing rentals on Folly Beach. If the new home owner wanted to continue to rent out the home after the 90 days, they would have to get on the wait list for a permanent license, which is now more difficult as there is a cap of 800 rentals in the city and that cap is currently maxed out. Other language that will be added to the ordinance includes establishing an annual minimum number of nights rented to maintain good standing and advertising more bedrooms than are approved is a violation of rental regulations now. I spoke with Mayor Goodwin, who said that all of these ordinance changes were put in place to benefit the community and the residents of the city, while also still allowing the opportunity for tourists. So in the end, it gives us a little, it gives the city a little more control over rentals, and it gives the people a little more control over keeping their community as their community and where they want to live and where they want to raise their children and grandchildren and enjoy life. Now, tonight is the second reading of this ordinance. City Council will meet here at City Hall at 530 tonight to discuss these changes and to make their vote. Live on Folly Beach, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.